The first salvo in the war on Christmas this year has been uh, shot. Our first war on Christmas story of the season. Is it too early to do a war on it? Christmas segment before Thanksgiving? Uh, it's never too early for that. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Forget spreading cheer. It's a not-so-merry start to the holiday season. The war on Christmas has begun. Tis the season. I don't know what, when did it... Atheists seem to have ended a 60-year-old Christmas tradition in Santa Monica, California. Way to go, right? Some left-wing loons. And for the first time in 60 years, there will be no nativity scene at all. No nativity, no drummer boy. Uh, and no manger. Right. Why do some atheists have the right to, to squelch the, the holiday fun that everybody else has been having for years? What do you think here? Are, are these atheists ruining Christmas for the kids? This ends up being about bullies. This is the thing about atheists. They bully the other religions, and they're just vehemently intolerant. And I think it's kind of sad. Sounds pretty bad, right? Well, that's not America. That's not freedom of speech. Yeah. Jesus is used to this. That's the that's right. that's good news. Perhaps we need to make sure that some Christianity is seen there. In the meantime, with all the talk about Christmas, is anyone else nervous about Christmas shopping? Well, it's the nightmare before the holiday shopping season. Also, holidays bring up this expectation that you should be over the top happy. You don't have enough money to buy everyone in your family presents for Christmas. Renting a car for your holiday travels could be difficult this year. As your family gathers around the dinner table this holiday, do you know what to do if someone is choking? Germs on planes. MRSA, norovirus, and influenza virus. It's supposed to be fun, and here you are giving us dire warnings about the interior of planes. A Charlie Brown Christmas sparking controversy at a school in Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's talk about some people who will undoubtedly go into debt this holiday season. Very big arguments between major unions and some major companies just in time for the holidays. Will union demands leave passengers high and dry? You are <laughs> deliberately making it impossible for countless people to get together for the holidays. Airline tickets, they go up in price around the holidays. A lot of families don't make you happy. And doomsday predictions are getting renewed attention. What happens to your plans on December 22nd? I right. don't know what does. Right? I mean, you got all the presents under the Christmas tree. They're going to still be. Uh, is it even significant? Should I do on, my Christmas shopping or not? Is on, the question. Well, well, then you got to watch because we don't know <laughs> what happens on twelve twenty-two. <laughs> is it me or are people already drinking early for the holidays? Holiday time is the worst. I feel so lonely. Even the Christmas commercials on TV put me in a depression. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Doctor Germ, it was a great pleasure having you on the show today. I hope you've not scared everybody to death. And. Oh dear, a rogue Rudolph treats himself to an early Christmas present. A pack of cigarettes. Stay tuned for that. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose.